Hi, me again, Dr. Raj. A follow up on my last video dealing with the massage training for individuals, couples, persons who are interested. So let's take it step by step because these are the questions that are being asked. Who is this um, massage training geared towards? Who are the persons that can do the massage training? It can be anyone, it could be couples who want to improve their bedroom life, it could be individuals who just simply want to learn massage techniques so that they have something in their repertoire of things to do when it comes to things of a sexual nature. It could be a person who is interested in getting a job so they want to have something additional on their resume that they have training in massage therapy. Um, there is different types of courses. You can start with the basic courses and then you move on to the intermediate and of course the advanced. For those who just simply want to learn a technique or learn things that they can do with their partner to make them feel better to, at the end of the day, to make their husband or their wives feel um, relaxed, engage in some sort of um, foreplay, like um, things that they can do with their partner. It, the massage helps in that way. There are many things that you can learn, um, techniques about different parts of the body. Now, of course, both male and female have erogenous zones. And we have not even spoken about erogenous zones. Where are the erogenous zones in an individual? Of course, the erogenous zones in any individual is dependent on the person. A male will have certain erogenous zones. A, man, um, a female will have certain erogenous zones. For example, the feet could be an erogenous zone, the back of the calves, the back of the knee, the legs, the thighs, um, the buttocks, the stomach area, the breasts. Those are the areas that, you know, in some individuals it might be ticklish. In some areas, it might be something that is very sensual, sometimes the back of the neck, the chest. So it depends on the individual. So what you need to do is hone in on these areas when you're doing a massage. And instead of it being a deep tissue type of massage, it could be a caressing massage. So there are different types of massages that you can do. So the individual who wants to learn these things, of course, you have to know your partner. If you can come with your partner, that is even better because both of you can learn how to reciprocate with the massage or you could simply learn the techniques that you need to do and how you go about doing it. So the massage techniques is basic. It's not very complicated. It would not, you're not in a classroom setting. It's a relaxed setting where instructions will be given. A person will be there volunteering to receive the massage. Now that's the best part of it for those who want to receive the massage, who want, who want to volunteer to receive the massage. And those who are, will be training, they'll be trained in different techniques, things that they can do specifically for the individuals. Of course, if you're dealing with giving a massage to a male, it's different from giving a massage to a female. If you, if you are training in doing deep tissue massage, it's different from training to do sensual massage. So basically what we will do, we will start off with the sensual massage aspect of it and then build into the different therapeutic types of massages so those who want to go on to be a massage therapist can also do that many years ago many many years ago that um in the 80s and 90s i i, I was trained in doing massages i have my certification and whatnot as a matter of fact i'm a tra i'm a trained trainer of massage massage therapist so i can also certify individuals um, I know it's very expensive sometimes if you go to um, one of these schools to do massage courses and whatnot, and it's maybe a long drawn out process. And I'll tell you this, if you're learning to do basic massage, basic sensual massage, it's not going to take you one week. As a matter of fact, after our first session, I guarantee that you can go to your partner, go to your lover, go to a friend and give them a massage and they will feel relaxed. Of course, you will not have all the, do the techniques down pat. So we will teach you what to do as time goes by. Of course, the atmosphere for giving a massage is very important. So the oils that you're using, the scented candles, creating the atmosphere with the lighting and all those things will be taught to you. So you have a fair idea what you should be doing. Now, from massage therapy, you could branch off into BDS and M and, and different things that involves bondage and discipline that involve restraint to the individual if you so choose to do if you simply want to learn to do the massages and have that skill so that you can actually do it to a person for example a foot massage everyone likes a foot massage it's a basic massage that can relax any individual you can do it to your aging parents you can do that massage to your friends you can do it to anyone 
and it does not have to lead to anything that is sexual. Now, a foot massage which incorporates from the calves all the way down to the tip of the toes will make a person feel so relaxed that they will want you to do it again. Now, if you want to do it as a job, if you want to become professional at it, if you want to earn money from it, you can also do that. But of course, you'll have to go into the intermediate and the advanced stages of learning massage techniques. So what we do is basically start you off by first of all asking you what you want to accomplish. How far do you want to go? Tell me what the things that you want to achieve. From there, we would take it step by step as to what we're going to do, how we're going about doing it, and then you get to practice. Now, there's a theoretical aspect of it, so you will get, um, you'll have to read a book as you go along. The book is available. You don't have to purchase any book. You don't have to get anything extra. You simply read the book there, get an idea of exactly what needs to be done, and you get started. You hit the ground running. Once you decide to start to do the massage therapy, to learn to be a masseuse, to learn to do massages, it starts right away. Like I said, our training takes about three days of two hours of training, practical training. It can extend up to a week, but I don't think you'll need to extend up to a week once you do the intense training. The cost factor and whatnot, you can get in touch with Prashant. Um, at the end of this video, I'm sure Prashant is going to put up his number again so you can get in contact with him. We have limited space and I'll tell you why we have limited space. You cannot teach persons to do massages if you have a crowd of 10 to 20 persons. We want to keep it under 10 persons at every session to do the training, to do the proper training. Of course, you must have the massage beds, you must have the individuals who can do it, you must have the mindset to do it. The individuals who are receiving the massage, now that's another thing. When you're training to do massages, it's important that you receive a massage. Why do you receive a massage? When you receive a massage, you'll actually know what it feels like. You'll understand the state that the individuals are in when they're getting a massage. You'll under, also understand that, hey, if I am getting a massage, these are, these are the things that I need to pay attention to. So I will do that. I, when, I, when I am given a massage, I'll be able to know, hey, I remember how I felt with this, I remember how I felt with that. This is what I need to do. This is where I need to extend myself. This is where I need to hold back. Those are the things that you learn. You learn about the pressure points. You learn about the individual, which is you. Transference of energy onto the person who is getting the, the massage. Now, the person who is receiving the massage also gives off energy. So, while doing a massage, sometimes the sounds that the person make, the things that you hear, sometimes the little movements of the body, will also indicate to you how the person is feeling. So you have to pay attention to those things. So that's another thing that we'll be teaching you. We'll be teaching you how to pay attention to these little things that are happening in the massage area, the movement of the body, the way the person behaves, the sounds that they make, the things that they're feeling. So that you, when you're continuing to do your massage, you will realize that, hey, it flows from you. It's not a stop jerk kind of way. It's a flowing of energy and a flowing of your hand movements onto the individual. But it's not only your hands. Remember, I said in my last video, it will be teaching you, will be teaching you to incorporate all aspects of your body to massage the person. So you'll be using your forearms, your elbows, your chest, your breasts, your buttocks. You can use anything to massage the individual. But at the beginning, you will learn the basic techniques of using your hands as a means of transference of energy onto the individual. So that's why I'm saying that we have a limited amount of space available for the training session. We have already have a lot of individuals who have um, signed up already or who have indicated that they wanted to sign, they want to sign up. So those of you who are interested, you can still sign up for the first session. We'll be having other sessions after that. It's not only a one-off thing. There are other sessions that we are going to be doing. If there are things that you want to learn if there's anything that you need to learn specifically, you can also let me know about that. You can reach me at my cell phone, 7401961. You can ask questions about it. You don't have to jump into it. You, are give, you can even think about it from now till the end of the year and decide that next year I want to do it. Because we'll have continuous classes going on as time goes by. So individuals will have that opportunity to learn to do massages, to learn to do massages properly. Why learn to do massage? 
you need to learn to do massages so you can take care of your partner's need so you are able to transfer that positive energy onto the individual so you can make them feel good about themselves it helps with the self-esteem also because the person when you learn to do massages of course you're going to be empowered and empowerment is always something that is a positive attribute to any human being so until next time i hope some of you start calling Prashant is going to put up his number, get in touch with Prashant as far as booking your spot. You can send me messages if you want to ask further questions on anything to do with massage. We'll be back again.